For this last video in this series, I'd like to show you a practical example of uh, what we can do with um, radioactivity. And in this case, it's carbon dating. So I decided to give you an example that had some real facts, so it was kind of fun looking it up. But um, I can say that this does look a lot like what an IB question might be, especially in what they're asking you to do. So in this particular question, uh, we have a saber-toothed cat, which uh, turns out is called a Smilodon. And uh, the question is, if the remains of a saber-toothed cat now contain 0.12%, the amount of radioactive carbon-14 that it had when the animal was alive, how long ago did it die? And this is something that's very often used, this idea of carbon dating. So this is uh, this radioactive carbon-14. Carbon-12 itself is quite stable, but radioactive carbon-14 is often used in carbon dating. So this is exactly what's happening here. So if we know how much uh, carbon-14 it should have had uh, when it was alive, and now we know that it has 0.12% now, then we can find how much uh, or how long it's been since it died. Now, of course, we're told that the half-life is 5,730 years. And here, by the way, is just a little picture just to make it a little bit more interesting. So the first step is probably to look up our equation sheet and see where can we find an equation that uh, relates this stuff. So we can take a look at our trusty equation sheet. I can look on the uh, section here for topic 13. We've been working a lot with these ones. And we can have this equation here, n equals n0 e to the minus lambda t. So I'm going to use that one. Okay, so I'll write it down. So n equals n0 e to the minus lambda t. Now we're told something important here. We're told about this 0.12% that it had when it was alive. So that means that now the amount is, now we have to write this percent as uh, a decimal, so that'll be 0 0.0012 times what it was originally. Now we don't know what it had originally, and it turns out we don't really care. As long as we know the fraction here, we can figure this all out. Because now instead of n, I put in 0.0012n0. So I'll do that now. So 0 0.0012 n0 equals n0 e to the minus lambda t. Now if you look at this, the n0s cancel out. So that's kind of nice. So now we have 0. Point, I'm going to show you every single step here just to make sure everything's absolutely clear. So now the question is, what should we be solving for? We want to know how long ago did it die. So in other words, we want this time. That's what we want to find. So in this equation here, I can solve for t. I can get t by itself. We've been doing this before. We've learned that first of all, we take the natural log of both sides. So this is ln of 0 0.0012. And if you, uh, again, forget about how to do uh, that or what undoes ease, you can always look at your calculator. And you can take a look here. This is a nice way to remember what undoes what. e to the x on your calculator here and ln are on the same button, so to speak, except for just a second. So that's sort of how I remember this. Same thing with log and 10 to the x, same thing with x squared and square root, same thing with sine and inverse sine and cos and tangent. So in this case right here, if I want to uh, do this, well, the natural log of e, they undo each other, so then you just have minus lambda t. Therefore, if I want t by itself, it's going to be well, ln of 0 0.0012, divide that by negative lambda. The problem is, what's lambda? And again, remember, we learned that lambda is not the wavelength, as is normally uh, thought of. We actually use this uh, lambda in terms of radioactivity as um, the decay constant. Now, we have an equation that relates decay constant lambda and t1 half. We even did a video earlier where we showed how to derive this. So we can say that t1 half, in other words, the half-life, is ln2 divided by lambda. So I'll use that. T one half is ln two. Oops, fix that up. So it's ln two divided by lambda. Now, if I want lambda, of course, then well, lambda. I just put this up here. I take this, put it down there. So I get ln two divided by t one half. Now, if I want, I can actually calculate that. I can figure that out. So in this case, it's going to be ln two divide that by the half life, which is five thousand seven hundred and thirty years. So I'm just going to need my trusty calculator to figure this out. Yeah, I'll bring it over here. 
So I want the natural log of 2. I take that, I divide it by 5,730, and I end up with 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4. 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4. It's important to think about what units we use. In this case, since we used years as our half-life, then it's going to be years, and look at the units here. LN2 doesn't have any units, but this here is years to the minus 1. So that's why it's going to be 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4, years to the minus 1. So I take that and I put it here, in this equation here. So now I have LN of 0 0.0012, divide that by negative 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4. So I'll do that on my calculator. Oops, I've got to move it this way. So just to be absolutely sure we know how to do this, so ln of 0.0012 gives me this answer. Notice it's a negative. That's nice because this negative and the negative would cancel each other out, so that's good. Oops, I need my calculator again. I take that answer, I divide it by negative 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4. And I get an answer of, let's see, it was two significant figures. That'll be 56,000 years. So that tells us then that this saber-toothed cat must have died roughly 5, 56,000 years ago. And so we've got the right amount of significant figures since we have two here, but uh, everything here looks good. So hopefully you can see that that's a practical example uh, how we can use this. Remember, the key was, first of all, to find an equation that governs this. And we noticed then that we needed lambda, so that's why we used our half-life to get lambda. And that's how we did it. Hopefully you've enjoyed these videos. Uh, this is the last of the ones in um, the quantum mechanics section. So there should be some other videos uh, to come.